uh, your journey from being a fabric salesperson to now running your own startup and actually raising thirty six million dollars in this past week, it's it's just so inspiring for like people like me. Uh, and you spoke to us about a couple of systems uh, in the call before that we had uh, about journaling and putting your thoughts down and like putting your thoughts down in one page, if I remember correctly. And are there any systems that you use that you you want to like to talk to our audience about? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one of the things I've followed is that you know in in my first year at 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 the first company, which is Aditya Birla Group, we had a year long training. Till this date, I remember every single uh, training program that I went through, and I went into wow. detail of each of the different businesses that we went through. We went through businesses. Uh, we went through the strategy department. I spent a couple of months on uh, fiber, uh, which is the Nagda plant that they have. I went through cement business, and and in every assignment, what I've tried to do is get into the details and get into uh, a place where I can say, okay. Let me think first principles. Let me think what are the basic tenets. Let me not be carried away with things like this has been done this way, so we should just continue doing it. And and that has helped me. The second thing that helps me a lot is that in the old traditional way, I I maintain a diary. And when I'm really in thought, I shut down my laptop. I stop looking at emails, and I try to write down what 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 it is that really I'm trying to solve. And and it really helps me bring the thoughts. Out clearly, even when there are people who come to me and they are trying to discuss an opportunity area and are not able to put it uh, perfectly, I always say the same thing: that go back, write down one page, put down the problem statement, the possible solutions, and which are the parts which are which are the ones which need discussion. It really helps in uh, bringing both both parties onto the same page, and therefore you are just focusing on on the item that needs to be discussed. So. Uh, I think writing down, putting things in perspective, and going into details and first principles um, are things that have really uh, worked for me. Second is, uh, I think relationships matter a lot. Um, I was telling that you know a lot of people talk about uh, people who are well networked as people who know the big guys, right? But when there are big guys who are meeting each other and they've not not known each other for a very long time, it's more a give and take relationship. each one is trying to get something out of the other but during your long journey in corporate career and otherwise you come across a lot of people right at that point of time those people may seem unimportant they may seem too big too small too irrelevant or too uh, far away from what you're doing but then little actions of kindness little time to them to listen to them or little help that you give them uh, goes a long way and and you know while it might seem like uh that we i'm sorry uh while it might seem like we just out of the blue raised uh, so much money the the truth is that you know there have been a lot of forces behind this right every person who has put money has reached out to people who have worked with me to check you know what do you think about rishi they have checked on what do you think about his knowledge about this industry and Uh, and there are people who i have not met for 20 years who have come forward and said okay i think this is what i am doing and this could be of help to you can i in any way be associated uh, for no consideration uh, i just want to help you so the amount of outpouring and reach out that has happened really tells that you know relationships you build the networks you build uh, the little gestures you do towards people really goes to add to uh to what you achieved I, i we have just put out some posters in our office uh, which which are inspiring quotes by some of the goats like messi and uh, ronaldo and gold etc one of them says that you know uh, messi says that it took me 17 years to become an overnight success so uh, yeah. so yeah if you want to become an overnight success you have to work many years towards that yeah Yeah, it's so interesting. Actually, you know, when you spoke about connections and just having the really, really strong reputation that you did, that led you to to also avail the amazing opportunities that came your way. I was I was really confused about this. Uh, do you, do you think uh, in your world it's really important to care about your reputation or to care about what others think about you? Uh, do you think that that applied to you at all? 
so uh, i would say that you have to be you have to be 10% uh, uh, conscious of what your reputation is but 90% has to be the real thing in the sense that you cannot be uh, you cannot be completely off like you say i don't have a linkedin profile and people should figure out how to find me etc then it's like being too puristic uh, too much of a purist i would say that you know you should not try to uh, try to construct a reputation because if it's not what you are people will find out right there are people are connected as they have never been before right people can pick up a phone speak to people who you would have interacted and you were not even in your best behavior at that point of time so you cannot fake it uh, but what you should do is you should really ensure that uh, you are uh, consistent you have a similar behavior with everybody because if it comes out that you are very good with one set of people and not very good with other set of people that also doesn't throw you in good light so you have to be consistent uh, and and then you should also be active to ensure that to the people who matter you are able to reach out you are able to communicate to them you are able to present yourself uh, uh, you know in the way that you believe is is right uh, and that would mean that you know your message then gets carried to them and therefore it becomes bigger like for example uh, i really want to uh, you know with this new venture i really want to give back i want to help startup founders um but if i just wait for people to discover that you know i'm here for them uh, that would not be enough i need to do that little bit of 10% to reach out to them to communicate to be able to uh, give time to them so that they get to know about it which ensures that uh, you know the product is there and you are able to reach out to the right people so that they can take the help right? so, so that's yeah. that's where i believe yeah i think that's a really powerful sentiment of just building those genuine connections with a lot of people because you don't know when down the line you can help each other in growing together and obviously you experience this through the growth of your startup